I am here today to talk about why school-based projects like Northwest Carbon Neutrality Goal are important. Recently, a friend told me that she has no power to address the many crises we face, so why even try? This is no way to feel when lives are at stake, but I can relate sometimes. At the heart of despair is a disconnect between aspiration and real change. But aspiration is a necessary first step. For me, the motivation to take action on climate change began from a deep connection to nature and spread once I understood climate solutions as an opportunity to resist the exploitation of both people and the planet. Why are we here except to shape a world that we're proud to pass on to our children? From my elementary school green team, I joined my middle school environmental group, but it was too focused on individual action, which breeds guilt more often than transformation. I joined two youth climate organizations, but empowerment and connection felt confined to a small group of founders. I learned a lot, but our pleas for action seemed to disappear the moment they left our mouths. In late 2020, I was one of a small group of students discussing how our school could eliminate greenhouse gas emissions on an institutional level. We formed a larger task force of students, parents, and faculty, and together, researched ways for Northwest to become carbon neutral by 2030 without the use of offsets. Everyone involved tackled complicated topics that high school students are not usually trusted with, like measuring emissions and energy efficiency, calculating solar cost savings, surveying our school community, and crafting an action plan that we presented to school leadership. Thanks to the wisdom and dedication of everyone involved, the Northwest School is now the first primary or secondary school in the country to commit to a carbon neutrality goal that avoids the use of offsets. <laughs> and most importantly, implementation has begun, starting with shifting gas heating to electric, which is also better for human health. This success is immensely satisfying and our process is scalable. I want to set a precedent for K through 12 schools and inspire other students to start similar projects. Young people are often seen as naive idealists whose hopes never materialize. As the climate crisis accelerates, short-term failure is even more demoralizing. Projects like Northwest are important because they both implement climate solutions at the local level and serve the purpose of education to help young people build the skills to generate sustained change on all levels and by many strategies, not as individual heroes with one flawless and instantaneous solution. And teachers and parents have valuable experience to share. Just because youth are especially concerned does not mean the weight of the world rests on our shoulders. That's why this fall I'm working with a grassroots political group that includes everyone from high school students to grandparents. Bottom-up interventions are crucial because they're often led by young people, people of color, and women who are less likely to be politicians or leaders of multinational NGOs, but who are most affected by the climate crisis. And community sparks joy. So thank you to the Earth Island Institute for the opportunity to connect with some absolutely inspiring youth activists. Remember, there's no one way to take climate action. Thank you.